just rag. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That little snippet of a song right there, maybe you've heard that riff in a bunch of my demos, but I finally kind of put some drums to that, you know, try to make up a song of that. That was the Sunday Riff Challenge right there. The drums you heard in the beginning, you can download those, and then you can join the Riff Challenge for next week. How about that? Welcome, guys, to Sunday with Ola number 14. Holy shit. And since it's Ola England the Swede, obviously Solar Guitars has released another guitar. <laughs> this is the Solar V2.6 AG. It's just as simple as can be. Humbucker. Volume. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I deserve an applause for that. No. No, just a very, very simple... Shut up. Just a very, very simple, you know, metal playing guitar, right? So if you've been watching my channel this past week, you might have found out that things are happening, okay? Things are happening with my channel. Obviously nothing major, but uh, you might have seen that I had an FAQ video this past week. Oh, why? Why, Ola? Well, the thing is that for the past Sunday with Ola videos that I made, you know, I have the questions at the end and just, just a bunch, you know, just to kind of keep that in the Sunday with Ola kind of vibe happening, uh, you know, keeping a little bit of an FAQ vibe. But the thing is that when I asked you guys to post more questions, you actually posted a shit ton of questions. So uh, I figured, because I know some people also miss the old FAQ, why not just start with the FAQ videos again, uh, just not make them as frequent. So as of right now, Sunday with Ola is staying uh, without the FAQ section. Good, okay. Also, I just have to reach out and say thank you to, you know, all of you guys out there. In the last Sunday with Ola, we were talking serious business about Spotify. I asked you guys to put your opinions in the comment section of the past Sunday with Ola. And boy, oh boy, you guys did. This topic about Spotify is really dividing the crowd out there. But with that said, you guys just handled it so well. You gave constructive, uh, valid points. And, you know, without arguing at all. And, you know, just seeing this made me really, really proud. There was one guy who called me a f moron, but, you know, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I, I, I can take that. I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of you guys that were out there and advocating for each side, you were giving valid points and you just kept it civil. And that really, really warmed my heart. Thank you so much for that. But that was last week. Now we're in for a new week. Shit. So in the last week, Sunday with Ola, I missed out a fair bit of the new singles that were released in that week. But we're going to talk about them today. Now, first of all, Gojira released a new single. They released the song Another World, and when I hear it, and you know, I wasn't really expecting it, but now that I hear it, I must say, it's been a long time coming <laughs> since the past album. We've been waiting a long time for this, but... It made me and us <laughs> incredibly happy. Thank you. It's a good burp. Regarding the song itself, Another World, it's not anything in particular. It's just another Gojira song, you know, delivering exactly what the fans want. The drumming, man. The drumming just makes me extremely happy. I mean, when Mario's drumming, there's just 
so much playfulness happening. It's just really refreshing to hear Gojira, I think. It's it's basically the metal band the world needs right now because, you know, they, they just put a new spin on it and uh, it's so groovy and it's just great. So that makes me extremely excited for a new album and if you haven't checked out the single yet, uh, do yourself a favor and go check it out, okay? And that's not the only thing that has been dropped this past week, other than my testes. But John Petrucci released his new single from his upcoming album, Terminal, 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 Cardinal, Terminal Velocity, yes, Terminal Velocity. And he released a first single from that album called, uh, the song is called Terminal Velocity. Oh, it makes sense. Now, as a fan of John Petrucci and Dream Theater, one, it's awesome and exciting to hear that John Petrucci is releasing new music, but it's probably more exciting to hear Mike Portnoy play on this. It's been a long time coming, man, to hear these guys work again. I, I, I just love Mike Portnoy's drumming. I mean, he's he brought the groove in Dream Theater, man. And you know, it's nice to hear that sort of groove again here in this song. It just really warms my heart. Young old England sitting there like, ah, ah, Dream Theater, you know, play fast and shit. The song itself is very like feel good and it seems like if you watch the video that it seems like they recorded everything like at home maybe. Uh, I'm not sure because of COVID obviously, you know, it seems like John Petrucci is sitting tracking with his uh, amplifier in some, you know, home desk, home setup environment or something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing right here. And another cool thing is that Andy Sneap has mixed this album. So two new awesome singles that I'm extremely excited about. Jan Petrucci, Terminal Velocity, and Godra, obviously. I don't know about you guys, but that is very exciting and awesome news, you know? I mean, we should be lucky that artists and bands are blessing us with new music during these weird-ass times. So uh, we should be extremely happy, you know? <laughs> My testicle just dropped. <laughs> Another piece of news that is uh, sort of exciting I must say, is that uh, Matthias Asado, if you don't know about Matthias Asado, you know, he's just one of those alien guitar players that are just, you know, 100 times better than the rest. <laughs> and he's releasing a signature guitar with Sir. And uh, he has this new video. I'm just about to watch it with you guys. So I guess I'm reacting to the new video of Matthias Asado getting a signature guitar. <sighs> shit. Okay. You know, I'm just happy that Sir is doing shit. <laughs> You know, back when Ibanez launched their uh, AZ line, uh, basically a lot of sewer artists kind of went to Ibanez. I think they lost a lot of wind, you know, when that happened, which uh, obviously sucks. Oh, that's sexy. Yeah. That's actually really, really fucking sexy. Oh, shit, how can I get those glasses? Where do you buy these glasses? I want to get glasses like this for when I'm playing Apex, so I can, you know, scope in on people and, uh, you know, improve my KD. My KD! 0.87, okay? It's not perfect. I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not that good. Back to Matteo Sassado. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. Look at that. Looks like a roasted maple neck. That's his face on the back plate right there. That's cool. I, I like a good facial here and there. I'm not too well known with uh, Sur at all. I, I'd love to try some guitars. Maybe this guitar could be something I could try. Pretty sexy, I must say. All right, I want to see Matteo's play a little bit. So here's from the NAMM show 2020. Look at all these assholes with phones and video cameras. What the hell? Look at these. All these phones, man. This right here is the absolute worst situation any guitar player could be in. At least that's what I feel. When people have cameras and iPhones 20 centimeters from your guitar, it's uh, <coughs> it's the absolute worst scenario you can be in as a guitar player. As, okay, that's me. That's me. Okay, not, not the good guitar players. I'm, I'm a shitty guitar player. You know, I hate this situation right here. Just saying. I don't know what it is, but, you know, with any clip of Matthias, you can just sit there and watch and be like... Feels nice. Life is pretty, pretty good, actually. His playing really makes you feel good about yourself. So, uh, that's Matthias Asado's new signature guitar from Sir. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... I went with my family to uh, one of those playlands that they have, you know, that looks like this. The way you do it now during COVID is that you you book an appointment to go here. So there's basically no people here. Probably like, you know, 10 kids. So it's very easy to do the social distancing thing. And now I'm trying to find my kids <laughs> somewhere. Maybe I'll go ride something, who knows? Oh, look at this. 
Where are the kids? Molly. Molly. What's that? Hey, Molly. It won't fit. Oh, this feels so familiar somehow. It doesn't fit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Whee! I mean, kids today, they're so lucky. I mean, I didn't have this when I was a kid. This is amazing. Best part about it, there's no people. And now I'm gonna shoot my kids. Molly! Ah, oh my god. Terrible. Ow! 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 Molly! Ow! Ah! Standing completely still. It's okay. It's okay. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, enough. All right, honey. Hey, don't cast that boy. Molly! Cast what you want. Count a quick time. Ah! Four, three. Woo! I'm Molly! See ya. <laughs> 40 kids. Let's do this. Oh, hello. This is so much fun. Hey, Molly. <laughs> okay. Whee! Max 80 kilo. That's probably just a safety measure. Let's just do this. Ah, I'm 80 kilos. So it's the last week on my kids' vacation and then it's back to normal. So basically this is like the last thing that we'll do on this vacation for the summer. And then I'm back to normal. So tomorrow it's back to business. It's been a really good summer for us. Now it almost sounds like I'm never gonna see my children again. <laughs> but uh, It's been very hectic with my children. And uh, yeah, but I'm really looking forward to getting back, back to work full time so I can concentrate on, you know, what I should be able to do. So yeah, Adventures with Ola out to see ya. All right, for Sunday challenge 13, the last week's Rift challenge, as usual, a lot of contributions. You guys are f***ing amazing. It, it makes me really happy to see how many people are kind of pitching in and joining in on this challenge. Today, I'm gonna feature this guy called Jacob Mr. Sitch, or Mersich. And uh, we're gonna check out this video right now. And there's a crying baby in the background. I mean, how metal is that? Whoa. What? Okay. Yes. Slaying it up. And see, the baby stopped crying. Metal is just so incredible. This part was a little weird because, you know, I changed tempo, so it's really hard to kind of, you know, get in there. Also, someone should uh, let this guy know that there's a horizontal mode on your phone to say, because this is, uh, this angle is sick. <laughs> there it is, man. Shit. That's Jacob Mr. Sitch. If you want to be just as cool as Jacob, you download the drums for this Sunday with Riff Ola's Sunday challenge. And make, make up some riffs, man, to those drums. Post a video yourself on YouTube, and uh, maybe I'll feature you in the next Sunday with Ola. Shit! Okay, so the riff of the week is that gnarly ass riff that I wrote in the beginning there. The guitar is tuned to standard D and then a drop C on the lowest string, okay? And the riff goes like this.
okay? First fret on the lowest string, and then open A string. So, then you mute that, obviously, so. Fifth fret on D string, and then open G string. Pretty simple, right? So there you go, riff of the week day. Riff of the day! <laughs> Shit. All right, so for this week's Ola tasting shit, I'm gonna try out this Mexican hot cocoa or like uh, yeah, drink cocoa. What do you call it? You know, chocolate that you drink. And uh, I took it home because I figured, you know, let's just drink it at the evening, which is nice and, you know, cozy, kind of like a fika. And, uh, you know, I, I, I noticed this. Someone already opened it. And it was my wife, Luis. Sorry. <laughs> Great. So uh, I caught her in the act of coming this open. So I figured, okay, Luis is a pro with uh, cocoa and you know milk chocolate, and uh, we're gonna make a test, Ooh. and we're gonna <laughs> smell that. Oh my God. Ooh, <laughs> shit. This does not bode well. Uh, so we're gonna make a test. We're gonna make two glasses because there's a Swedish variation as well. One cup of milk. Ugh. Sorry, that was an almost burp. <laughs> it's called Abuelita. 80 años, shit, it's 80 years old. That's why it smells so weird. All right, so because in Sweden, uh, we normally drink our uh, cocoa uh, cold, actually. Just, you know, quick cocoa, you just mix around. So we're doing one glass of hot cocoa and one glass of cold cocoa. Two spoons. Yes, so this is Ooh, those are, you know, quite hefty spoons right there. And then a the cold one. Okay. All right, show some enthusiasm, Louise. That's a good double hand action. Okay, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. That smell is weird. That's, uh, that's this old lady right there. <laughs> that's the smell. You know what? It reminds me of tea. Of tea? Yeah, let's try it. Ugh. <laughs> Why does it taste like tea? What's in it? Why does it taste like that? It's azucar, cocoa, and polvo, pasta de cacao, malto de extrina. Yeah, there, I think there's just a, way too much bullshit in here, to be honest. Why does your cocoa taste like tea? It's a good question. Like chocolate tea. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's chocolate, but it's mm -hmm. tea. Chocolate mm -hmm. tea. This was a favorite among a lot of people. Uh, I saw in the comments when I showed this the first time. This is from uh, Mama Mage. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the name. <laughs> but, uh, thank you so much, Mama Mage, for uh, sending me all this stuff. <laughs> and uh, he's a member, actually. Okay, let's prepare a Swedish one. Oh, maybe you need to have Mexican milk, you know, from Mexican uh, old ladies. I don't usually drink this, but you do sometimes, yeah, so. Sometimes. Mmm, shit. I drank this when I was a kid. It's the shit. It's great. Tastes more chocolate. It's just no aftertaste of tea. Yeah, exactly. It's just straight up chocolate. This is called Oh Boy in Swedish. Oh Boy. Oh Boy. Not sponsored, but just really, really good. Not Oh Girl. Oh Boy. No, exactly. It's very non-equal. There's no Oh Girl option. There should be. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Maggie Kike. Uh, we unfortunately we did, it, did, it, did it not like the uh, abuelita old lemon uh, uh, cocoa. Sorry, disappointment. But thank you. <laughs> all right, I just have to make a small little disclaimer. The guy who sent me this all the way from Texas, but the candy is obviously Mexican. Is uh, his name is Mario Alberto uh, Garza Saldivar, and not Megagiga, as I was saying. That's just because I didn't remember his name. And uh, I just want to reach out and say thank you so much for sending me all of this. Apparently, I pissed off his wife, and uh, she called me an ungrateful bastard. <laughs> I, I just want to say I'm sorry for not liking uh, what I've tried so far. But I'm looking forward to try it out more. So there you go. Sorry, and uh, Mario, thank you so much. And that, my friends, 
is the Sunday with Ola for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you were waiting for the FAQ section, there's an FAQ video that I uploaded uh, earlier this week that you can check out, okay? Oh, it's also me and Luis's anniversary today. How many years? Math, math with Ola. 12 years, shit! How's that possible? <laughs> 12 years is a lot, but me and Luis has been together for uh, 18 years or something like that. And in my opinion, I think it has been easy, an easy 18 years. And, you know, we're not the most perfect couple in the world, but I consider Luis being absolutely perfect for me. She's definitely my, my better half in a lot of things. She really makes me a better husband. So Luis, if you are watching this, I love you, okay? Let's do it for another 12 years at least. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I have a video tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Just as I stopped, Luis entered the office. So I'm going to call her over here. Luis. That doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I can call her with farts. Okay. Hello. Hey. Come, come on, So I was just saying, as I was uh, ending my Sunday with Ola, that you and me have been together since 2002? I think it was 2002. Okay. Anyway, so 18 years and 12 years married. And I was just saying uh, how, uh, how hard it was. Uh, now nah, I was the, saying... The 12 years <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I said that we're not the perfect couple, but uh, you were perfect for me. You are perfect. Exactly. I mean, what, exactly. What's what what is a perfect couple? Yeah. Write in the comment section, and uh, maybe you can win something online <laughs> from uh, Tinder. <laughs> Tinder. Tinder. dot com. You can win a date <laughs> with uh, with a lady, uh, or a, or a husband, or a man. If you're a, if you're a woman, right. or if you're a trans, trans, you can uh, meet another trans. Uh, all I just wanted to say is uh, congratulations. Oh, so cute. Oh. Thank you, guys.